where I come from, where your mother comes from. We didn't talk about our bodies. I was just so captivated by this book when I read it, and I really inhaled it very quickly. Um, I felt like it offered such an off-ramp for grief and rage um, in terms of conversations around gender-based violence and so many other injustices. There was some sense of these women coming together to imagine a different way forward, where they weren't just focusing on the harms that had been done, but also trying to figure out how to build a better world, and that seemed so essential to me. We hardly knew how to read or to write, but that day, we learned how to vote. Do nothing. Stay and fight. Wait. Leave. The women in the colony that these background events were based on, who, you know, suffered these attacks for years and years, and it happened in the middle of the night when they were sleeping and they were tranquilized with cow tranquilizer. And they were told by the elders this was an act of wild female imagination. So Miriam kind of captures that term, owns it, reinvents it, and throws it back. It's this feminist grenade. So this imagining of these women coming together who come from very different points of view at the beginning, needing to work together to find a way forward, was what I think was most exciting to me about the idea of making this into a film. Who are you? Who are any of you? I mean, I knew that I wanted it to feel like an old-fashioned epic, so that even though a lot of it does take place in this hayloft, there are also these many sequences outside the hayloft where I felt like we needed to feel the scope and wonder of that world and really feel viscerally what their faith felt like to them and what they were fighting for. So there was this sense of really wanting the world to feel large and for this to feel like a seismic epic story. And at the same time, you know, it is this incredibly rich, complex debate, and I didn't want to shy away from the intensity of that. And they have been excellent students. But they are children, and they can be taught. I've been so thrilled to see it in theaters because the laughter, it's so much better to laugh with people, and there are a lot of moments for laughter in this film. As serious as it may seem, we make sure there's a lot of room for people to laugh and for those lighter moments. And I think because it's a very emotional experience as well as an experience where there's a lot of laughter, I think having that in community is far better than having it in isolation. I actually think it's a film people really should see with other people, um, whether they be strangers or bringing a few friends. Like, I, I mean, I haven't made a film before where I felt like it was this important to see it in a theater rather than at home. Also, it's shot on 2.76 aspect ratio. Like, it's really made for the big screen. Our choice will be your future. Thank you for watching Picture House Cinema's unique video content. Hit the subscribe button to be kept up to date with our movie news, cast and crew interviews, highlights, trailers and lots more.